Hey everyone I'm back and better than ever, anyway, in this video I will teach you how to customize my mining game kit. The kit includes infinite mining, data stores and loading, easily customizable UI and blocks. The first thing you should do is open the scripts and make sure you know what each script is for. This script is for spawning the blocks when the server is first started. The X position and Z position are variables that determine where the first layer of block spawns, you don't need to change this script unless you want to change the amount of blocks that spawn or the position the blocks start at. This script is to save load and use player data to do most things in the game like mine, add items to inventory, spawn the pickaxe, spawn in blocks when the player has mined and a few more things. This local script is used to change the UI and fire remotes to tell the server when the player mines, it also adds an outline to the blocks when you hover over them. Ok now that we've done that we'll get to customizing this kit to make it look how you want it. To customize the blocks all you have to do is clone another block, Ctrl plus D, and then do whatever you want to it as long as you keep all the instances inside of it. You can also change the values, for example the color of the block or the value of the health, but keep in mind if you change the health then you should change the max health as well. The rarity value determines how often the block will be found, so if your rarity is 5 then it will have a lower chance of spawning than if you change it to 1. When you make a block you need to make sure you select the selection box and change the property Adorni to the block you have created. The spawn depth is the Y position that the block can start to spawn at and the spawn end is the position it can't spawn past. Once you are finished customizing your blocks you have to drag them into replicated storage again. Thank you so much for watching, let me know if you enjoyed this style of video by liking this video and subscribing but the main thing I want you to do is send feedback in the comments, let me know what kit you would like to see next and that's it for this video, I'll see you in the next one.